Um, yeah, man. Oh, listen, I want you to touch on, because uh, I know we briefly uh, talked about this earlier. I want you to convey how, uh, what kind of a feat it was for this marathon runner that we talked about. I can't yeah. even pronounce the guy's name. Get out of my life. That Can guy. you say the name? E- e- Eliad something. Exactly. Kip, 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 so. Ch- Kip Chogi or something. I don't want, I'm killing the guy's name. Yeah. So he broke the two hour barrier for a full marathon. Now, for what the a layman slap in, that, in the face. Yeah. What is a, that is? Listen, just for the layman terms, what what is a like a I guess a, a good time for a normal full marathon? Just so everyone has something to compare it to, because you gotta you gotta give some context. Okay, dude. I mean, a good time to me. Anything under four hours is. I mean, even four hours is freaking phenomenal. I mean, we spoke about it before. I've done. Yeah, is that like I've done three half marathons. Every time I've gotten a little bit better. My last one. I was 203 for a half marathon. If you ask a regular, I'm not talking about like a, like a, like a live and die runner, but you ask like a casual runner or somebody who, you know, who's in shape and they say, hey, 203 half marathon, is that straight? Like, yeah, that's, that's straight. You know what I mean? That, that's like a, guy did twice that's that. That's like sprinting the entire time. No, no, it's not like sprinting, brother. That is sprinting for damn near two hours. Okay. Get out of my life. I don't need to see your nonsense. It makes me feel, it puts me to shame, bro. You know how hard I am working to try to do the same time I did last time? I, t- I told Chris the other day, I said, I haven't yet determined if I want to, if I'm like ready, like determined because of the, the back and all that stuff and right. doing everything that I'm doing through pain. Do I care about beating last year's time or did you want to get it done? You better beat last year. No, wait a minute. You're like, wait, wait, wait a minute. You know? It's different now. It's, I'm doing a lot more stuff, and now I've got this issue. Yeah. It's so not it's, just, yeah, number one, I not, just want to get you're it You're not done. just focused. I was going to say, you're not just being able to concentrate on just that. Yeah. And yes, now you're down with the back. And so, then I'm like, at yeah, some so point just, in my yeah, life, it's just I've, got it to, I've got to stop trying to beat the time from the year before, because I'm not going to, you know? And she said, well, now's not the time. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> Relax. Um, <laughs> Wait, Frank's support- going to do it as well, this, uh, my stepson, Frank, is going to yeah, do it. Yeah, but I know he's, he's, he's been But he does cross country. Yeah, so he's going to be really equipped for that. He's never done that. Well, now the good, the good thing is that the, the cross country season is finishing up at the end of the month, and then he can so because their thing they focus they they do longer runs like seven eight miles to warm up for a five k. But the the whole point of the, their season is they're trying to get the fastest five k possible, which he's done fantastic every time he's done it yeah. this season. He beats the time before, which is great. So now at the end of the month, I think actually his birthday, the twenty fourth, is his last. Um, it's the last run. Then he can focus on the mileage really getting up there. You know what I'm saying? For the half marathon. Yeah. He's never done, I don't think he's ever done 10 miles before, let alone 13.1. Mm-hmm. So I told him, like, you want to try to build up? Like, I usually build up to at least 15, 16. So then the 13.1 is, you know, it's yeah. not cake. Well, no. Not by a long shot. But it's, you know, I'm well equipped lungs-wise for, for it. Okay. Um, but yeah, this guy, I mean, come on, man. You're sprinting for two hours and, you know. I mean that's I mean that's got to even blow, I mean that's got to be Olympic type. Hell yeah! I mean that's beyond that. Hell yeah, bro! <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's got to be. Listen, I'm not gonna say there's any uh, other factors involved, you know. Oh well, listen. <sighs> PEDs, what? Even <laughs> like, if there was, you still got to put the work in. No, there. listen, I don't want to, you know, talk about the guy. Fantastic, but I mean, I, I just can't. I mean, even... That's like you know, Lance Armstrong. I just can't even like, again because. Of how hard I, I mean, but again, we're, we're dudes with jobs. We got kids. We got, you know, family well, stuff. So, you know, I am so proud just for the fact that I have maintained lifting yeah. while I've trained for this run. But do you understand? This guy is doing twice as much as I'm doing in less time. What a shot. Like, what a kick in the balls that is, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I read it and I was like, I don't want this guy in my life anymore. <laughs> like, move on. You know, um... Holy crap. But yeah. That is funny, man. Yeah, well, listen. I mean, that's outstanding. I mean, it's... They yeah. say records are ready to be broken. You know, and the years... Uh, you know, I mean, it's just... Records and hearts are meant to be broken. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't expect to be on that level. We got to...